the next thing I'm going to do is to go to var, uh, sorry, to etc portage, and I'm going to make some changes to the make.conf file. And actually, as you can see, I've installed or removed Vim, but it's obviously part of the system set because it's obviously still working. So that's one, one point to note. There's probably another package that didn't get removed despite the fact it was in the world file. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is to insert a new use variable here that overrides the previous one. So the fact that this uh, new one that I'm typing in here appears after this one here means that this one that I'm about to create is going to override the old one. And all I'm going to do is create an em basically an empty use string, but just with the use flags that I've uh, explicitly set to not be activated. Um, and this is, well, the empty one is to ensure that these flags don't pull in any other packages um, through their existence, which I believe some do. And the second reason regarding these flags is to ensure that these aren't activated when I don't ever want them to be activated. Um, I'm not even sure QT4 is valid anymore, but I'll leave it in there anyway. So I'll save them and then I also want to do the same with package.use. So I'm going to move package.use to package use dot back up um, and then I think except keywords I might have to do as well because that will obviously pull in packages so uh, package dot accept keywords back that one up as well and and hide it basically um, license won't make any difference the mask won't make a difference either although it'll probably be out of date um, afterwards so if I now do another update oh yeah there oh sorry not another update the first update but this is an update on the existing um, system as it is and you'll notice I don't know if you saw there that the last sync was over 360 days ago so it's approximately a year and a week or so ago that this system was last updated now you notice the changes that I've made here by removing all these optional flags has caused um, certain changes and you'll notice these changes are now just within what I imagine are either the system set and possibly the remaining few um, packages that I've kept in the world set. Yeah, there's Vim there, even though I've removed from the world set, it's obviously part of the system set. And that's probably because I've removed Nano and used Vim instead, set that as my default editor. Um, So, it oh, looks like GCC is going to be rebuilt. Oh, yeah, and GDPC because there's some changes there, but that, that's not a problem. Um, right, we've got a restriction here. Oh, so this is because... Yeah, I think... Actually, the Oracle Java has been updated... I wonder if I should get rid of that. Um, let's find out what package depends on this. I wonder what the current version is. Let's see if we can use it without the current version. Oh, there's a virtual for the JDK. 
Yeah, I wouldn't expect this to be kept in actually because I've now removed the Java flag. Um, yeah, there's one there. See, that would have been set in make.conf, I imagine. So. Um, I think I'm going to delete that actually. Completely from the world file. Oh, is that because of the virtual? Yep, so let's get rid of that as well. I'm pretty sure, all right, okay, so that, yeah, what it is, this package is still using that Java, so what I need to do is to let this update happen, which will remove any dependencies on the Java, ignore the fact that it wants to try and update the Oracle, um, but yeah, the Gen 2 um, default Java has moved to the OpenJDK version, um, and they're not using the Oracle one anymore for various reasons. Um, not sure actually if there's a news item about that. No, it didn't look like there is. Not sorry. So I'll let this run and recompile these packages um, and that will obviously release up a load more dependencies which um, I'll have to remove the Oracle manually because it's in the world or I could just delete it from the world actually. Um, yeah, in fact I'll do that because then that will get rid of that error and it won't be in the world set that I want to add back in so that's good that'll get rid of it completely so let's edit the fire uh, so it's far lib portage world normally you wouldn't edit the world by hand but this is this exception because of what's happening here uh, with this update so I'll remove that from there so if I now do an update I can't do a depth clean because it's still required by the packages that have got the Java flag installed, but after I've done this update, uh, there should be no requirements on Java and a depth clean will remove um, Oracle as well as all the other packages that, are the, 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 that have dependencies with these files here, with these packages here. So I'll let this build. This might take approximately an hour or so because I see GCCs. Uh, there to be removed or uh, rebuilt rather. Um, and uh, GLBC probably takes about five or ten minutes, but probably ten minutes, I guess. Um, so, yeah, it might take about an hour or so. Um, actually, what I will do. Oh, yes, I've got the. I didn't think I had the jobs options set on and I did have so I'll just have to wait this to fin wait for this to finish now. Let's check. Yeah you can see there's the world filed ones are affected as well, the ones I've left in there, the IX and Grub. Right, is this going to actually stop? Yeah, it is. Okay, so I'll just rerun that this time.
Okay, so that has failed. Um, I'm quite sure why, actually. In theory, it should have um, just rebuilt what it already had. Now, there is a chance that the some of these um, packages, the source files, are not available anymore. So that could be what's happened. Certainly Python 3.6 I think has been deprecated now, so that could be a problem there. Um, so what I can do is try to re, uh, re um, attempt to update what's there, to see what comes in it might not be in the same order it might be so yeah is this K log D's come in again um, let's see how far we get I'll have to um, look and see why this is K log D's not installing if it fails again uh, what was the change to it I'll just log rotate. And maybe if it fails again, I'll just remove it from the world file. I'm not sure how important it is while it's running. Yeah, it's failed again. away so it's going to fail again in maybe five or ten minutes so we'll see how we go when it reaches that far right so it's failed once more on another package um, not exactly sure the reason why um, as we can have a look, it's not really that important unless it's holding us up. Um, it could be that. Uh, all right. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah, it does look like the fact that the packages are so old. There's, mi there's a missing patch for libx Um So it Yeah, so that one's missing a patch. So we can't rebuild that one. Um, I imagine this one's going to be pretty much the same then. Um, yeah, I can't find... can't find the file, that's interesting. Now it may be the um, directory where all these patches get saved is shared amongst all my other Gen 2 machines and it could be that I've tidied these up um, and they're not available to download and they don't exist on my local repository now so that's a bit, little bit unfortunate. Uh, maybe that's a lesson to me to keep them around for a little bit longer possibly. Um, the best thing we can do is just keep retrying this until we exhaust all possibilities um, and just reduce the number of dependencies that there are. Um, see how it goes. <clears throat> the more I can pull out, the easier it will be in the long run to um, to go back and start getting actual updates done 
rather than just rebuilds, which is what's happening at the moment. So those first two are going to fail. That could mean that we can't progress any further, actually, if those two don't build. The yeah, assumes will fail because it's only those two that are building. It's, yeah, I can't do it. Um, so Lipex also needs a Python keyword. I could get around this by it. It'll mean there's maybe a few packages kept in. Um, but it'll only be one or two and it'll let this go further. So I could do something like um, use equals log rotate uh, and Python. Although this will affect all packages, unfortunately. Oh, 26. That's not bad. Yes, it's it's rebuilding 23 now. Mm -hmm. Let's see how we go with that. Right, so let's reach that Python 3.6 and it obviously needs that to rebuild the rest. Um, let's just see what that... Oh, that needs Bluetooth or SQLite or TK. Um, What I might do here is just to create a temporary package.use with the specific switch uh, use flags for these packages that are failing so they don't have to be reinstalled and so they don't fail. Um, I think that's probably the best thing to do just to let the other packages rebuild and reduce the chance of dependencies. So I'll need to do this catalog D that needs log rotate so package dot use and I'll just insert each of these Next one I need is this one, and it needs Python. And Python 3.6 needs 3. These three fellas here to prevent it. This is just purely to prevent it from being rebuilt with this update. Um, I suppose the alternative I could I could do is to um, have just specified each package apart from these on the command line. Um, that might be better actually, rather than. Uh, create another file. Yeah, I might do that actually instead. Uh, just in case it gets a bit confusing with this, it is only temporary package.use. So if I recall the command again to do the update. Do a no. I actually want to merge 
that one's okay. This catalog day is not updating, neither is that one. Fim, we'll have a go at that one. Grub. Util Linux. U dev. And the Python 3.6 is not working, so let's try 2.7. 3.7. Open SSH. Gemato Ninja uh, one more copy of the versions with these GDIP GCC and GDIPC. Right, I'll just get rid of these versions, they shouldn't be needed. Need, that's why I was doing it because I'll need it for the Pythons. Otherwise, we'd be picking up 3.6. Right, uh, so merge that minus 1 AV and we'll do two jobs again. So let's see if any of these break. And if they do, we can just drop these from the list and the ones are already done and just. Carry, all right, okay, what's this all about? GDIP, so is it a different version 2.6? This is not what I wanted to happen, spending too much time with this. I'm not sure why that's coming in now, it's not there. Why is it telling me that now? Oh, there it is there. It's not there, that's interesting. 2.6.7-R2 2.6.7-R2 Well, that's unusual. Julia console kit. Ah, is it because something needs console kit? That's what it is. No, I can't see that either. It's obviously because of one of these packages that I've left out. Maybe I should have done versions. Uh, let's just double check them. GPME 130, Vim A1, 146, Linux 233. Oh, the ordering's changed, that's maybe not helped. Right, I'm going to recall this command, but leave out glib this time. This is what I didn't want to do, spend too much time trying to resolve things, and um, unfortunately I'm getting into that. But um, at least it's not as uh, bad as it would be, I can guarantee that that's a definite... Okay, so Python 3.7 has also failed, so what I'm going to do is to get rid of the ones that are installed. So GPGME and Vim. 
out of this list. Until Linux Python 2.7. Until Linux Python 2.7. I know Python 2.7.6 hasn't installed, so get rid of that as well. And open SSH. So let's see how we get on with the rest of these now. Right, I've actually abandoned the compile there because um, I just noticed if I scroll back that the changes for GCC and glibc are, um, well apart from maybe these two in glibc, but certainly the ones in GCC are more about capabilities than anything. Um, I think the caps might be and the GD might be a, a library, so it seems it points to let GCC carry on compiling. Um, but I might just do the glibc on its own. Um, but I'll keep multi arch disabled actually. So just this won't take long, maybe five or ten minutes to rebuild GLibc, so it's not a problem. In fact, no, I'm not going to even bother. It's um, probably might be a bit risky. So I'll just read these messages here. Suggest that we restart UDev. That's probably a good thing, even though I don't plan on um, making any changes to hardware, like plugging in devices or anything. Um, so really, that is it as far as updating to release um, any dependencies. So if I just do this and merge again, you'll see there's probably going to be half a dozen packages, I guess, that I'm not going to bother updating. Yeah, okay, seven. Some won't update, and like I say, GCC, glibc, I'm not just going to bother. I might just try glib on its own, actually. Just out of interest, see if that will fail again as it did before. Um, or I reckon if it does fail, it, it's due to one of the packages that I'm not updating in that list. Yeah, still doing the same. So, yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. So now I'm going to do another what I expect to be a big depth clean. Uh, let's do minus p to see what's going to come out. How many of them? Um, and this means that after this, all oh right, it's not going to do it because we didn't let the build complete. Okay, so that's a bit unfortunate. Okay, not to worry. What I'm going to do then is um, I'm going to do the sync and that will obviously bring in all the changes and what I should 
do is I'll then do an update then get the um, basic packages updated I'll do a depth clean then just to ensure the rubbish is got rid of um, all those dependencies um, even though they're going to be rebuilt again it's just um, a way of keeping things nice and clean um, and then hopefully start to bring back all the packages that uh, don't exist or won't exist in a while